Uh, hello, my name is Jose Moreno, and I'm going to talk about my experience in increased courses at SJSU. Well, the class I want to talk about today is COM 155i. Uh, it's a class about quantitative research. Um, it is my first inquiry course, and I'm currently taking it with Luis Felipe Gomez. Um, previous to this semester, I've only taken P and F courses. And in the short span of time, like since school started, like a month and a half, I believe. Um, I've learned to, I've learned a lot about research and data and things of that nature. Um, but what I want to talk about today is the assignment that we have. It's a research paper based on a subject that we, the students, choose. I decided to do a research paper on whether or not students are more likely to engage in classroom activities in a face-to-face -face environment or online. Face-to-face um, -face could be like a seminar or a classroom. And then online is either like just your typical online class, like everything's online. No, like there might be lectures, but it's not like a Zoom call. And another one are like Zoom calls. And a major part of this research paper is the independent and dependent variables. Um, independent, independent variables do change while dependent variables change based on how the independent variable is changed. So if, for example, if you look at the picture to the right, the independent variable is the amount of water. And based on how much water we give the plant, we could deduct that the size of the plant changes, the number of leaves that the plant grows changes, and if the plant is alive or dead. And for my research paper, the environment of the students is the independent variable. And then I put students, but in reality, the student's behavior is the dependent variable, how, like whether or not they are willing to participate in discussions or are they willing to reach out to one another for help. And the environment is, like I said before, a classroom. Uh, or a seminar for like face to face and for online it's like just canvas i guess for like online classes that don't have a lecture and then a zoom call for the ones that do another thing i learned about in this class was the tuman's model it's a structure of an argument first we have a claim which is the statement that is the argument so in the picture the claim is there are dogs nearby and how do we know there's dogs nearby well we use evidence and the evidence is that we hear the dogs barking and howling in the distance and the warrant is kind of like the bridge between the two it's kind of like your reasoning behind it kind of so like dogs are animals yes that's true and then they bark and they howl, and that's also true. So, it like bridges the it bridges the claim and evidence. And the last thing I want to talk about is measurement. So it's kind of like data that's carried through research. It could be like one of those scale things, like how likely are you to take this class again? A scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, and then one being the lowest. Or it could be something like we see on the right. Um, kind of like surveys that are given on like receipts. Not on receipts, but like if you were to choose, take the survey that comes with receipts when you go to like shopping. Like, for example, on the right, we see the quality of our brand. Are you satisfied or very unsatisfied? And during all this, I've learned a lot. I've learned how to do research, if the research is um, credible or not, but that's not my main purpose of this presentation is to talk about the things I've learned in this class. So in this class, I've learned about measurement, like of, like slides here shows, previous slides showed the Tuman's model, and the slide before that was like independent independent variables. And I want to thank you again for listening to my presentation and hope you all have a good day.